Hey, hey, hey guys. Welcome back to part three of our color along with the eagle, the Philippine eagle. So today we are going to work on his feet and I have my colors picked out. Um, I hope these will do okay. I'm trying to do it somewhat realistic, so I'm trying to match the colors. So I'm gonna bring you in here and I'm gonna show you what colors we're gonna be using today. We are going to be using cream. And if you're using Prismacolor, you can actually use the cream and the Prismacolor. That's actually pretty similar. Then we're going to be using light yellow glaze. And if you're using Prismacolor, then for that one, light yellow glaze, I would say you can use your lemon yellow, but just be careful because the lemon yellow is actually a little bit more yellow than the light yellow glaze. So you do it with a light hand. Um, then we're going to be using, come on now, what happened to you? There we go. Light chrome yellow. And if you're using Prismacolor, then you can use Canary Yellow. But again, that's a little, just a slight bit darker. So be careful when you're using it. And our last color that I have here is Dark Cadmium Yellow. And if you're using Prismacolor, you can actually use either Spanish Orange or Sunburst Yellow. Any one of those will do. Uh, if you are following along with your own colors, then that's fine too. Um, if you're doing a completely different page and you just want to hear me talk about absolutely nothing in the background, that's good too. So I'm just going to sharpen these up here. Um, I try to make sure my pencils are somewhat sharp before we start. Here we go. I was trying to give you guys a break from the tree this week. So I figured we do part of the owl. It's gonna be, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. It's gonna be a lot of browns um, on this page, a lot of yellows, oranges. If you haven't noticed, it's, you know, a lot of yellow, orange, browns, things like that. Um, for our next page, I'm gonna have you guys actually help me pick it out, but for now, we're going to work on this, this page here. So I'm going to bring you guys in. We're going to do this foot right here. Okay. So like always, I'm going to start with a very light layer. Now this is cream. So you guys might not see, you know, you might not see the color on camera, but um, just do it enough to where you can see the color yourself just slightly where you can where you're able to tell because you you might not be able to see it but do it to where you yourself can tell the difference between the cream and the white and once you're able to tell that just you know ever so slightly then you got your light layer so i'm going to put that all over and just cover the whole foot or claw or however you guys call it okay so I've got that covered so I'm gonna follow Kirby's shadows on this one because it's like I said in the last video with your shadows you know I'm not an expert so I just kind of play around with them and put them where I feel like they should go so I'm gonna follow his on this one um, and see how that goes. I'm gonna come in now with my light yellow glaze. And the bird I think is like hovering over his foot. So technically speaking, the, the shadows I think should have been at the top and maybe the light coming down, but 
I don't know. Remember, we have our light coming this way. So it works out for us because that's the direction we, we said our light was coming. I have no idea what I did with the post-it note. I tried to keep it on my desk this week, but I did some slight cleaning on my desk. So it's either probably in the trash or pushed over to the side somewhere. But the light is coming from this way. So that's cool with us. We'll work with that. So most of this I'm going to, let me bring you guys in just a bit more. So I'm going to leave about that much for the light, the lighter layer. So it's not going to be much, um, you know, of the dark layers going on on this one because we're following his and there's he has a whole like all of this should technically be the between the first two colors so I'm gonna leave quite a bit of that out and I'm just gonna bring it in so how's everyone's week been what did you guys do this week I had a pretty busy week, I think, um, between work and, you know, I had got an email back. I had applied for to work at the airport and I got the email back um, this week for the in-person interview. So I had to go and pick up some interview close yesterday which was Saturday and while I was out picking up my clothes I somewhere between Ross because I went to Ross to pick them up somewhere in between Ross and um, the seafood market next door I went in there to get some snacks somewhere between there and there I thought I lost my debit card. So when I was in the seafood marketplace, I got to the register and I'm on the phone with my mom and I'm like, wait, I can't find my card. And I'm like, I just walked only next door. I was like, I, I thought I put it in my wallet, but it's not here. And I took everything out of my wallet and call myself looking through my wallet. I guess I didn't look good enough, but it it was so crazy because I went back to Ross and I kept going back and forth. And so my boyfriend ended up coming to get me to take me to Chase so I can get another one. Cause I was like, man, I was like, it just it happened so quick. Like, where did it go? And so I get in chase and I'm I'm like about to have a panic attack and I'm like telling the lady like look I just lost my car you know I don't know where it went and you know I'm like I I just need a replacement and so as she's doing the you know getting ready to do the replacement she's like do you have your ID so I'm like yeah let me get it for you and so I pull out my ID and with my ID, I pull out my debit card. When I say embarrassed, I was embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, never mind. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I am so sorry. I was like, you know, I looked in my wallet and I guess, you know, I just needed to look again or something. But so you know, I went and got my snacks and whatnot, but it was crazy because I, I really thought that, um, you know, I had lost it. And so that happened. <laughs> and that was Saturday. And then on Friday, well, hang on, we're going to come in with the light chrome yellow now. So just under where you just laid down that last color, just above the shadow is where you're going to put this one. Because their feet is kind of light so we're just gonna put and you know we're gonna we're gonna play with the colors like we always do 
if you want it more yellow then you can bring the color up a bit you know how we do it we play with our colors we see what works and if it don't work then we bring in the eraser we erase what we can and we start over or we keep playing until it works there is no right or wrong you just do it until it looks good enough for you um so on friday i went and i got my eye exam and so you know i needed new glasses and out here with with the insurance that i have i don't get my glasses from the same place that i got my eye exam i had to go to like i guess their partner company or something which in this case is pearl vision so i was like okay that's different because you know um in california you can do it which is where i moved from you can do it in the same you know the same place they show you the glasses that you know are free the ones that's discount the ones you can pay full out of pocket or however so i was like okay so we went to pearl vision and they had a nice little um cell where you get your everyday pair you get your backup pair in case something happens to your everyday pair and then you get your sunglasses for 239 um so they had that deal going on so i went with that uh, and you know i was like that's that's a pretty good deal because one pair of glasses itself can cost you you know a hundred dollars two hundred dollars so let me show you guys i'm gonna zoom out here real quick i'm gonna show you guys these are the ones that i picked out so these are my sunglasses obviously um these here if i these are my uh backup pair and then these are my everyday pair and i don't know if you can tell but these are like the front is black but everything else is purple and then these are purple purple is my favorite color you guys and then these actually even have like a, a reddish purple going on so i can't wait for those she said um up to two weeks i mean yeah the max would be two weeks for them to come back but they normally don't take that long so i'm excited because i love getting new glasses <laughs> okay so we're gonna come in with our dark cadmium yellow and this is going to be our shadow color and i'm so tempted to come in with a darker color but um their claws are actually kind of bright so i'm trying to prevent myself from coming in with a darker color but i might i might just add just a slight of orange some kind of orange to the shadow just so because they do have there is a little bit of orange um let me bring it up again because there is a little bit of orange just ever so slight like it's very slight it's you know like right in the darkest of the darks so i think i'm going to bring in just a little bit because i feel like they need to be just a bit more orange just a little not gonna overpower it i'm just gonna add it in some places because uh it is there you know it is there so i'm gonna add just a little bit and i'm like i i like using like natural colors and things like that so i'm tempted to like tone it down but realistically speaking it's not toned down they're very their feet are very bright so we have that going on now and i do think i want to come in with some orange so the orange i'm going to choose i'm going to try to choose like a I'm leaning towards like a cadmium orange because our darkest color we have here is cadmium yellow um we have dark cadmium yellow i'm sorry so i think i'm gonna come in with the cadmium orange because 
that orange glaze is going to be too orange so i think this one is perfect and if you're using prismacolors and you're following along um you'd want to come in maybe with your yellowed orange so that you know you can have somewhat of a same um feel to it so i'm gonna grab my orange here i can find it cadmium orange okay here we go so yeah so that was exciting it's always exciting for me to get new glasses um so i think i'm gonna add this very slightly just a little bit just to bring in like in the darkest of the darkest areas i'm gonna bring in this orange i think that's what i'm gonna do yep because now you can see just a little bit of the orange so i think like here because it's like underneath in the picture it's like in the darkest of the darkest spaces only so i'll add some here just like in the corners uh if you want to add uh make yours a little bit more orange and you feel like it's too yellow and you don't want to go for like a hundred percent realistic then add more orange it's fine um once we're all done, uh, if you're following along and if you don't mind, you can share your pictures in the Facebook group and just post them up in there. You can post what yours look like so far. If you, you know, are following along, you can post like, you know, hey, this is what I've got going so far. This is what it looks like. I would love to see the people who are following along. I would love to see what yours look like so far. Um, and if you are, even if you're doing different colors, it's okay. I still want to see it. I want to see what you're working with. Um, just going to add. So you see, it's a little bit, there's a little orange there. It's not, it's not overpowering to the point where it's not bright anymore but it's still there it's there enough to know okay this is the darkest of the dark like it's underneath in the shadow and that's what we want okay so i'm gonna come back with this one and i'm gonna just buff it out buff out that orange just a little bit give it kind of like a orangey yellow glowish just just a little bit and I'm just going over the shadow part in the orange with this color. This is our dark cadmium yellow. And just go over the shadow, just the shadows, because this is our darkest color. So it's supposed to be our, our shadow color and our buffing out the shadow shadow color. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, what else happened this week? I mean, I work Monday through Thursdays, uh, sometimes on the weekends, but this weekend we had off. Um, we are also working on um, doing like some cleaning around the house, uh, just getting rid of a lot of things that, you know, we don't use or can't fit, can't wear, haven't touched in a million years things like that so that's all going to be going on throughout the month of March as well uh, next I'm gonna come in with this light chrome yellow and I'm gonna bring it up just a bit light light touch you guys light touch not not a heavy just ever so slightly and just bring it up and that's why we start off the way we do so if we see that we want to bring a certain color further out, we can do that because we left a lot of highlight area. So we can come out with, you know, some of the other colors. We can bring them further out if we choose to. So I'm just bringing this one out just a little bit more because this is kind of like our transition in between that yellow that light yellow and that orange so this is like our transition in between so I'm bringing it out 
just a bit and um yeah another thing my brother's birthday is next month too he is a march baby okay light yellow glaze he um i'm not sure what i'm getting him yet and i don't know if he watched my youtube videos or not so i don't want to say even though i don't know what i'm getting him yet i might just ask him what he wants and then just get him what he asked for it's much simpler that way um I find a lot of people say they like surprises and, you know, it doesn't matter what you get me and all that. But I, I'd rather get you something that you want or something that you need versus, you know, I'm trying to guess and surprise you because a lot of people say, oh, just surprise me or it don't matter. And then you get them something they don't like and they, they probably won't tell you to your face, but, you know, they don't really like it or don't use it. And I feel like if you're not going to use it, if you don't like it, it's kind of a waste. So I'd rather get you something that you like or would use. But, you know, my little brother, he um, he's grateful. Whatever you get him, he will use whatever you get him. So he's not like that. But, you know, there are quite a bit of people who, who are very ungrateful. They, they'll say, oh, I'm not the ungrateful type. And then, you know, you, you know, like, you know, they like purses or... If you know they like, you know, jean jackets and then you get them that, but it's not the specific purse or the specific jean jacket that they like. And so, you know, they kind of turn their face up like, oh, you know, and then you can kind of tell like, okay, I know you like jean jackets and purses, so what's the problem? You know, oh, it's not the one that I wanted. And to me, that's kind of being ungrateful because it's like, you know, where was the thank you the thought was there you know none of that is just kind of like oh i don't really like it and you know they're being honest but to me there's a way you do certain things so it's like you know thank you you know i was taught you know you say thank you if you don't like it you don't let them know you don't like it you know you say thank you you appreciate it because there are other people in the world who would would wish they have what you have and you know things like that but anyway sidetrack don't want to get on that um cream so this is our highlight color so what what we can do because remember i said if you don't want to um uh like completely cover the area with your highlight color you can leave it white or so for if the if you know if you're that group that's leaving it white just bring this cream up just a little bit and leave the rest of that area white and just take this cream and go over the rest if you are the group that is using the whole area for your highlight area then go ahead and cover all of that with this cream just a light layer um i'm gonna choose to leave this white this time normally i would cover it but in some instances, I do choose to leave certain spots white. Like this one, I'm going to cover in the back here. Because that's closer to his little, the rest of his little feathers. But these here, I'm going to choose to leave white for the highlight area. So it just, it's up to you what you want to do. It's your, you know, um... It's whatever looks best to you. This one I'm gonna leave just a sliver of white. I'm not gonna cover all of it. So you can even go, oops. You can even go, just keep going from your light to your dark and just, if you want it even more rich and more color or if you want it darker, you can go over it again with your colors just um just play with it you know how we do we play with it and we keep going until we are at a point where it's like okay i'm satisfied i like the way it looks and when you get to that point when you get to that point where you like the way it looks and you know you're satisfied with it don't touch it because a lot of the times you're like, yeah, I like the way this looks. And then you're like, but let me just try this. 
and then you try it, most of the time you're going to be like, dang, I should have kept it the way it was. Now, if you're printing, like if you print yours off and, you know, you can just print another copy, then that's cool. You can try different things. Or if you have another, co another copy of the book, then you can be like, okay, I like the way this looks, but let me try this. And then you don't like it. You can always whip out your other copy and start over. It's going to take a while, but you can do it. And, um, you know, that's just my advice because I can't tell you how many times I've, you know, had an idea and then changed it or I was like, oh, yeah, I like the way this looks. Okay, let me just add this. And then it turns into a disaster. And now I'm just like, dang, I should have left it so many times, guys, so many times. So word of the wise, once you get to the point where you like it, leave it the way it is. Don't mess with it because nine times out of ten, it looks great. And it doesn't need anything else added to it. And that's why you came to the conclusion that you like the way it looked. Because it was perfect. It was perfect the way it was. And that's how it should have been left. So, that's the foot. That's foot number one. Now, foot number two is down here. So, I'm going to bring you guys down. And so, this one's covered by leaves and all kinds of... I keep hitting this camera. Sorry, guys. I'm going to bring you over. And I'm going to bring you up so you guys can see. Now, and I'll come back in with this cream, and we're going to give it that layer. Now, this one seems like it has quite a bit of highlight, but we're going to change this one up a bit because it's got these leaves and such kind of near it. So, we're going to change it just a bit, just a little. We're still following his shadows, but we're going to add a few of our own because... Uh, I noticed this leaf here is like right in front of his foot. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a shadow there. So let's ask a little, okay. And then we're gonna add the cream here. Just a light layer, just enough so you don't see the white anymore. And then you come in with your next color. So we're coming in with the um, the light yellow glaze, and we're gonna go from the shadow area and bring it out. Then we're gonna put a little bit here behind this leaf because it's technically should be casting a shadow right there. So we're going to bring that out and then we're going to bring it up on this one, bring it all the way, almost all the way up. I'm going to leave this one a little highlighted too. So just leave some of your highlighted area in case you want to bring the color up. You know, in case you want to bring it out or in case you need to erase always don't don't finalize it on your first lay down of your colors because you might want to you know change it so don't go in with a heavy hand because once you go in with that heavy hand it's going to be hard to change it erase it and everything else so just unless you know you want that color there and only there don't don't put it down okay so now I'm going to come in with our light chrome yellow and we're just going to layer and this is what I was saying in my, um, my finished pages videos. I'm, I'm getting rid of my Prisma colors. Um, I'm going to sell them or trade them for a set of Pablo's. Karen Dos Pablo's because I'm not I don't like to blend per se and I don't like the way that the Prismacolor is laid down I'm finding that I'm liking them less and less so 
I'm just, uh, you know, I'm going to go with the Pablos. I've tried them out in a store. And, you know, they kind of, they seem like a tad bit softer than my Polychromos. But they still, I like the way they layer. I like the way they go down. I don't have any crumbly bits. You know, those little pieces that fall off the pencil. I don't have any of that. Um, so I'm going to get a set of those. I'm, I'm going to save for them or, or trade my Prismacolors for them. So, because Prismacolor is not, me and Prismacolor don't mix anymore. Okay, Dark Cadmium Yellow. And this one we're going to bring down because this is our shadow. Before we add some of that orange. So bring some of that here. And I'm just going to put just slightly around this leaf. Because there should be a shadow there. And then I'm going to bring this down. Here we go. Okay, so see it's coming together nicely. And so I'm gonna come in with this orange before I go over it again. And just in the darkest of the darkest areas, just put a little bit. In the orange, you can come in with like a medium pressure because you're just you know where you're putting it. it you know you don't have to worry about adding anything you know it's not like a three layer blend or anything like that it's just this one darkest of the darkest orange so you know where you're putting it so you can come in with kind of a medium pressure still not too heavy just you know medium pressure and I'm going to put just a little bit up in here and a little bit up in here and a little bit just like right where the feathers are like meeting, you know, just just a little bit up in there because it's not, you know, and a little bit here where this leaf is meeting. So just, just in little areas where it's like the darkest of the darks, the darkest shadows, and just, you know, it's not too dark because like I said, their feet is pretty bright. And then I'm gonna come back with our dark cadmium yellow and I'm gonna buff out that orange. So we're just doing another pass now of the colors from dark to light. And I'm just buffing out these orange areas. And then now we're getting into our yellows. There's our light chrome yellow. And this one I'm just gonna just a little bit because again, this is like our transition color. So I wanna make sure that the orange kind of transitions nicely into this yellow. All right, just a little bit of that. And then so we're going to come in with our light yellow glaze and we're going to bring that up just a bit on this one. Just a bit because I felt like it was too much highlight area. So just a bit. And that's what I was saying. You can come in and you can kind of change up, you know, where you want your highlights and they don't have to be, you know, you can change it and they don't have to be so highlighted. But I'm going to come in with this cream and I'm going to go over all of it. I might add just a bit more orange there. So I'm going to go over all of it or you can leave some white space so it can, you know, have that pop of highlight. It's up to you. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white, just like I did on the other foot. Just a little bit. And then... um. I want to add just a little bit of orange, more orange up here, because I feel like it's a little bit, it needs to be just a bit darker. 
there we go just a little bit and just bring it down and then like I said just play with your colors guys um, you know and if you aren't sure sure and you just don't want to put it down yet because you just aren't sure grab a scratch piece of paper and practice on paper you know draw a circle and practice the combination on a circle so we now have our feet so now I'm going to give you guys a little mini sneak peek of what next week is going to be because we're going to do the claws on the feet right now and so next week we will be doing his beak and it's roughly roughly very roughly you know a couple of these colors will be uh, in his beak but his claws are darker so we'll only be using two colors today for his claw so we have cobalt blue and dark indigo and for a prison color that's going to be let me see here let me grab my paper if i can find what i did with it okay so for cobalt blue you can use you can use i'm thinking true blue true blue is probably pretty close and for dark indigo you can use indigo blue so the claws are easy which is why we're doing them today what you're gonna want to do is you see this light area that's gonna be the only part of the cobalt blue that's showing everything else is going to be the dark indigo so we're gonna layer we're gonna put down this cobalt blue I'm gonna show you guys it sounds crazy but let me show you because the claws are dark so you're probably not even gonna see the cobalt blue you can even just go in with the dark indigo if you want if you don't want to you know if you feel like you don't need the cobalt blue you don't need it just you know pencil shavings are everywhere in my hand you know, probably time to clear out my sharpener here and I just use the um, Tagal sharpener or the MNR sharpener or my Prismacolor sharpener whichever one is nearby is what I use I'm gonna sharpen this in a little, little bit Oops, sorry okay so if you don't want to have like that cobalt showing you can just cover this whole thing but what you want to do is follow the shot, the highlight of your foot, the foot here. And so everything else that's not highlight will be dark indigo. And if you don't want to even do that extra bit, you can just do in black. It's it's really up to you. Um Like I said, I, I it looked like there was some blue in his claw, so I figured, okay, well, I'm going to have it match his beak, which we'll do next week. So here is a sneak peek, and I'm just coming in with the dark indigo. And then wherever the highlight, the direction of the highlight is for his like how the highlight this way and it's on top that's where i'm coming in with this cobalt blue and i'm just just like that that's it not too bad right and it kind of it, it it goes perfectly with the dark indigo because the dark indigo is very dark and so you know, and that's it pretty much. And you can even like, if you don't want to 
have, you know, the blues if you feel like the claws, you know, oh, I don't want the blue in the claws. You can do like a gray and dark indigo, or you can do just gray and then have it gradient into black. It's, it's so many different, you know, ways you can do it, but I'm doing it this way. So this one, I'm just gonna bring this dark indigo here. And, and you can even come in with a medium hand because it's only two layers. So it's not, you know, it's not a lot to do as far as the claws because most of it's done for you he already put the dark line so you just pick the colors you want you can even do it with one color you pick that one color and then just go over it because he's got most you know the black lines there so that's another reason why i like this book or his books because a lot of the time he has the lines there for you. So you have some kind of direction. And you're not just completely going in like, okay, well now I have to figure out where the shadows are and all of that. You don't have to do any of that. So I think I'm going to add just a little bit more blue here on this one. And then if it's, if to you, if it's too blue, you can come in and you can darken it more with the dark indigo or you can bring in black and darken it some more with the black um for me this is fine i'm just going over it once more i like the dark indigo look with the blue because it's going to match his beak when we get to it hopefully next week and pray till nothing happens okay all right, guys, so we have done it today. We have done his feet, and they are looking snazzy. So we're making some progress um, on this guy. We just have the tree, his head, you know, the wings, his body. And then we got to worry about the mountains and the clouds. Um, the background it's i might do like a bonus that'll be like a bonus video because there might be some people who want to do the background and some people who don't want to do the background um for me i think i'm gonna do the background but it'll be a bonus video so it might come like you know a week after we finish the final actual page so this is what we have so far and we're looking good so far, guys, you know. Um, I'm trying to get it as realistic as possible. We get in there slowly but surely, and I'm going as slow as possible so you guys can follow along and have fun doing it without losing your mind. Um, most of these videos are about 40, 45 minutes. Um, so, you know, w once we get to, like, this part, you know, I'm, I won't do, like, the whole thing with you. I'll do like I did with the leaves and give you guys homework. So I'll do like, you know, a little bit of this so you can see how to do this part. I'll do like a couple of these so you can see how to do these and, you know, like that. So the videos will probably be around, you know, still be around 40, 45 minutes. And I think that's enough time. Um, they're not too long or not too short, somewhere in the middle. So everybody can kind of, you know, pause it and get their drinks, their snacks, come back, take a break or however you guys do it. But um, I will put in the description a link to my Facebook page so you guys can post, you know, how far you've gotten, what you're working on. Uh, if you don't have Facebook and you still want to show me, then I can, um, I guess, provide my email so you guys can email it to me and then I can post it in the page, Facebook page for you with your name um if you're gonna do it that way just make sure that you you know put like a post-it note with your name so when I post it you know we all know where it came from and that's it 
pretty much. So we've done his feet. We're coming along and it's looking great. So I will see you guys next week where we do another part. And thanks for watching.